Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Money here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk about how my cooling method is in my basement at the moment, okay? And so in this video, we're going to take a look at the temperatures of all of my mining rigs, like kind of like a before and after. Right now, it's in the morning. Actually, let me just see what time is it. It is about 9.58 in the morning, okay? And the temperature outside, it says 19 degrees Celsius. All right, so I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I think that's like maybe 60 or 70 Fahrenheit. But right now, as I'm mining with all of my rigs inside the basement, it's about 85 Fahrenheit. Actually, I bought a whole bunch of these uh, Thermal Pro meters. I'll have a link down below. But it's 91 Fahrenheit in this area. And I have another one over here. It's about 88, okay? And so, not too bad, all right? As you guys know, I recently turned on <laughs> a lot more mining rigs and I am at max capacity in terms of power consumption and uh, I actually have another mining rig which I can't even run. It's my 2070 rig in that mine box 8. It's sitting in the barn right now. You guys probably heard me talk about that and in another video, uh, the Bitcoin ASIC video. But anyways, my Radeon 7 rig, 3080 rig, I just have all of my mining rigs now in this basement running full bore. I'm pretty much maxed out. Yeah, I am maxed out in terms of power. Okay, but anyways, this video is about the temperatures in my basement here. So let's just look at my exhaust fan. It's about 90 Fahrenheit. And if we go to my other exhaust fan, which I just put in, you guys saw, here it is. It's about 91 Fahrenheit over here as well. Okay, so it's nice and cool right now in the morning, but I'm going to wait another like six hours and we're gonna see you know, what the temperature is when it gets really hot outside, okay? So outside should be about 30, maybe 35 degrees Celsius as of uh, recording this video. But okay, so it's the morning. I wanna show you guys right now in terms of, I got cold air coming through my crypto mining studio right now, okay? So right up in that window is where I have another, just this window open and I have another meter here. It shows about 73 Fahrenheit. So this is the cool air coming in. I have the window fully open and a lot of cold fresh air is coming in this way over my studio here and out into the basement, okay? And uh, I also have a basement attic that's also open, bringing in cool air in that direction. You guys can see I have three fans on the floor here, just some insane 6,000 CFM. I have an 8,000 CFM and I have like another 2,000 CFM over there just blowing cold air, all just a lot of airflow going all throughout my mining rigs as uh, I heard that is the most important thing. I did not hear, I actually talked with a bunch of mining farms that said you don't need air conditioning. I know a lot of people are saying, Red Panda, why don't you just get an air conditioner? And guys, that's not the solution. Getting an air con to cool down like 15 kVA or something of mining rigs powered in here would take a lot of AC and I don't want to spend that kind of money and that would just be way too expensive. The most important thing is heat extraction and airflow, okay? So that's what I have. I have the airflow with a bunch of fans just, just making like, it feels like a wind tunnel in here. I feel cold air just going throughout everywhere, even if I stand over here. So yeah, just airflow and heat extraction from my two exhaust fans. Uh, about 4,000 CFM for both of them. And so that's the, really the most important thing. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you the temperatures of all of my mining rigs first before we come back in about six hours, okay? Just give me one sec. Okay, we're gonna fly through this. Here is my 19 GPU mining rig. Uh, it's not 19 yet, but I have basically 1660 Ti's and supers on this for now. And here are the temperatures right now in this morning. Okay, so 52, yeah, 50, the max temperature is about 54. All right, next rig. Okay, here is my 3060 Ti rig, and here are the temperatures. Really good, the max is 58. Okay, so this rig I know is in the middle of my shelves, so it's probably a little bit hotter there, but it's working real good. Okay, next one. Okay, my 1660 rig, just non-super, non-Ti. This is also in the middle of the shelves. Here is the temperatures, about 64 is the highest, all right? So yeah, pretty good. Okay, here's the next one, the 5700 rig, eight by 5700s. And yeah, the memory temperatures are not good. I do need to replace the thermal pads on these, but generally the, the, the temperatures on the GPU side 
it's not past 60 degrees Celsius in the in the server case so it's doing really well okay next rig is 2060 supers and 2070 and a 2080 and here are the temperatures yeah really good below the highest is 52 degrees celsius okay quickly next one is my 12 by 1660 ti and super rig and you can see the temperatures here the highest in that server case is 61 degrees celsius so that's pretty good. Okay, next. All right, my Radeon 7 rig and the temperatures, as you guys can see, it's really good. All right, really cool in there. 64 degrees is the highest one on the GPU and memory temperature, I believe, is the highest here is 75. So yeah, really good, really good. Uh, you guys are probably wondering, Red Panda, why aren't your Radeon 7s at 100 mega hash? And that's because I updated it to the latest version of Hive OS and it deleted my AMD MemTweak settings and you know all the manual stuff that I put in. So I gotta do that again. Okay, my 3070 rig. This is the in the Mindbox 8, the RTX 3070s. These are the Asus Turbos. And don't mind the invalid shares. This rig has been on now for about 10 days. And uh, yeah, it's mining eZill. So every time it changes the, uh, I guess, going to Zill, it sometimes causes an invalid share. But anyways, you can see the temperatures here, really good right now. Below the highest is 52 degrees Celsius. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, next rig, the 3080 rig, the four by RTX 3080s. I just recently powered these on and uh, looks like, yeah, actually some of these GPUs are thermal throttling because they just have terrible thermal pads. But generally the GPU temperatures themselves is totally fine. But I bet the memory temperatures are definitely being throttled right now on some of the RTX 3080s, which I'm gonna have to repad these. I'll try to do a video down the road when I have the mental capacity to do so. Okay, next rig, the RTX 3080 for the Win 3 edition cards. Uh, these cards are totally fine uh, in terms of temperatures. Yeah, they're not being thermal throttled as these cards have the best thermal pads on them. I do have one bad silicon lottery one. I can only get about 96 mega hash on that but the rest of them are totally fine. All right, flying through, you guys are probably bored right now. 3070 rig, temperatures again right now, totally fine, highest is 53C. Okay, next one is the Gainward 3070s, and look at the temperatures here, highest one is 56. Okay, and the next one here is the Asus Tough rig, 3080 rig, this rig is on the floor, and you can see the highest temperature is 52 degrees Celsius right now and each of these GPUs can get about almost 100 mega hash. Okay, next rig is my 584 gigabyte rig. I'm mining Ravencoin on these at the moment, getting about 14.5 mega hash, but these cards, the highest temperature here is 59 degrees Celsius, so all under 60 degrees, that's beautiful. Okay, I believe this is my final rig and this is the 6800 and 6700 XT rig and yeah, really, yeah, this rig is doing just fine. Yeah, totally fine. I have so much airflow. Okay, all right guys, that's it. <laughs> oh my God, that's the temperatures of all of my rigs in my basement as of right now, okay? Uh, as I showed you guys earlier, right now, the time now is about 10, 10 a.m. and the temperature outside is about 19 degrees Celsius, okay? So we're gonna come back in about, let's say six hours and uh, when outside gets hotter, we're gonna see how the temperatures are in in this basement as you know the ambient temperature outside will start yeah, you know heating up the cold air that we get through this window is not going to be cold anymore as well as the basement attic so we're going to see in about six hours we'll come back about six hours i will verify the time with you guys and then we'll see how the temperature is in this basement but you know ever since we added that exhaust fan it's been way better in here the heat extraction has been just just awesome and when i added these fans the airflow that's being created in this basement right now is just amazing for my mining rigs as you guys saw the temperatures it's just awesome okay guys i will see you in about six hours okay all right it's been about seven hours and you can see here the temperature outside is about 24 degrees celsius and so honestly i've been looking at the numbers here and we've only gone up just a little bit and 24 degrees outside is actually not that big of a difference from what we had this morning at 19 degrees celsius so you guys can see here roughly the ambient temperature inside the basement here 92 fahrenheit and it's about 96 in the middle and if we go to the fans the exhaust fans we can see that roughly we are about 93 over here 
and over here we are at about 94 so I wish it was a hotter day like 30 degrees outside at least and so the temperatures of the GPUs actually haven't gone up that much but I want to show you guys anyway so let's go see what they are okay all right we're gonna go in order here and the first rig it yeah it's up a little bit some of the GPUs are higher in terms of temperature but uh, I'll try to do a comparison before and after on the screen here so you guys can see okay the 3060 Ti rig and yeah it looks like it's gone up on some of them as well in terms of temperature but but yeah we're still okay here alright next one okay the 1660 rig and oh yeah it's definitely gone up in temperature highest one here is 66 degrees Celsius okay now for my hottest rig in the basement I believe is now my 5700 rig and yeah it looks like it's also pumping out some invalid shares it uh, looks like this GPU, this GPU number two is uh, really hot. It's getting up there, 102 Celsius on the memory. Actually, a lot of my 5700s are doing pretty bad at the moment. So, man, I'm going to have to redo all the thermal pads on these MSI mechs. That'll be for another time. Okay, my hodgepodge of NVIDIA cards here. And yeah, these are completely fine. Temperature has not gone up. Okay, the 12 by 1660 Ti super rig, and generally, yeah, the highest GPU here is 64 degrees Celsius by the looks of it. So yeah, this rig is still fine. Okay, Radeon 7 rig, and yeah, we have definitely gone up a little bit in terms of uh, temperatures, but we are still safe as uh, the memory junction is also still fine. The memory temperatures are still fine on the Radeon 7s as well. Okay, going to all of my RTX 30 series rigs. Okay, the 3070 Asus turbos, and yeah, these are also completely fine as well. The highest one here is 54 degrees Celsius. Okay, next one, 3080 rig, and yeah, we are still okay, but yeah, still thermal throttling. I need to change the thermal pads on these cards. Okay, the EVGA for the Win 3 3080 rig, and yeah, we are still fine. We're not being throttled yet. The temperature, highest temperature here is 52 degrees Celsius on these guys. Okay, still fine. Okay, 3070 rig, and uh, yeah, still fine, 54 degrees C. Uh, these rigs are the ones that are on the floor. And then the next one here is also on the floor, and yeah, looks like these are completely fine as well, under 57, 58 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is the uh, Hanging Chump Change XD 3070 rig and yeah these are wow these these are really low in temperatures look at that 53 degrees c 58 all that good stuff yeah still fine yeah this rig has an uptime of about seven days totally fine it's really good yeah if people are wondering again the invalid shares are is because i'm mining eth zill and every time it changes uh, to mining zill for like a little bit it it causes some invalid shares Okay, and uh, one of my last rigs here, the 3080 Tough Rig, and yes, we are also fine in temperatures as well. Okay, last but not least, this is the 6800 and 6700 XT Rig, and looks like the temperatures have gone up just a little bit, and this rig is actually at the top of my shelves. So, okay guys, so let's go back outside here into the basement, and Let's just, you know, okay, so to end off, really, it, all of my GPUs, in terms of temperatures, I just showed you guys, it's completely fine. Even though we went up about five or six Celsius outside, all right, and it's honestly not too bad. It's almost the evening now, and I showed you guys earlier the time. But to be honest, just everything that I have here, it's because of the fans that I have added into my basement here. So I have... Uh, the iLiving 20 inch fan here, 6000 CFM, and then I have another 24 inch drum fan here, about 8000 CFM, I have another fan here, and then I'm going to say the biggest factor that also helps is that I've added another exhaust fan, okay? So I have one there, and I have another one right there. So we have a lot of heat extraction going on right now, we have basically a wind tunnel happening in the basement right now because I have fans just pointed just everywhere pointing in every direction right i have another drum fan over there making a lot of airflow in this area on that side but mainly these fans here are drawing a lot of airflow onto my rigs so yeah i mean wow it's it's really nice right now but again i showed you that it's only about 24c 25c outside right now 
okay? So I'm hoping that uh, I can maybe update you guys when it's a really hot day, like 30C or 35 degrees Celsius, or like, you know, close to like 90 or 110 Fahrenheit outside, okay? So we shall see if the ambient temperature will really affect or help at all and like actually have an effect, even though we have a bunch of fans here and uh, airflow and heat extraction. So whenever there's a hot day, guys, I will definitely make another video and we will see what the temperatures are in this basement so far. But again, I'm still gonna keep going ahead with my plan of cutting my shelves in half here. And uh, you, you guys know my plan. I've explained it many times, but I'm just waiting for my buddy to install the extra 30 amp plug there, 240 volt, 30 amp plug, so uh, I can have more power capacity and uh, make everything nice and uniform. Okay guys, I think this video was long enough. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you all. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.